What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video, we are going to be doing a 1K MT versus 400K MT shooting air challenge. So I'm gonna be playing as YBC, who if you don't know who he is, I played against him a few times last year, but he's one of probably the top 10 5v5 players in the world at 2K18. And I'm being dead serious about that. He is that good at the game. He's blown out some of the best players in the game. He blew out TJ Day last year. He's beaten Caldy's God Squad with Budget Squad last year. He's honestly just one of the best players around. He reached the final of the last Mighty Team tournament. So check out his channel. Link will be in the description. By far the best defenses. And his own defense is just unbelievable. So if you want to learn anything about defense, check out his channel in the description. But anyway. We're running a challenge where he has got all silvers and T Mac, and I've got all silvers and I'm on Shumpert. So, the reason why we have all silvers is we want T Mac and Shumpert to be by far the two best players on the floor. And also, I suggested that we should be allowed to score with the other players in the team. Because, in my opinion, just going one on one doesn't show how good the cards actually are. Because just going one on one allows the defense to focus on one player, allows the double team. While if the other players are allowed to score, but they're of a low enough standard that they're not going to dominate the game, I think it just shows better how good the player actually is is but anyway in my opinion the gameplay is so um, reliant on wide open three-point shooting high dunk tendencies high dunk ratings and blow by animations as well as speed boosting and Amon Shumpert has all of these things and he's 1k MT. T-Mac is the same with limitless range and I honestly don't think there's that much of a difference but anyway we'll get to see the gameplay what the major difference is between these two cards so anyway now let's get on to the game. All right, so he's got T-Mac, D'Angelo Russell, Marquise Grace, Willie Golly Stein, and yeah, I'm going to, oh God, the lag, the cross-continent lag. On ball man, no double teaming. Easy layup for Shump, let's go. That's the start we need. All right, Shump on T-Mac right now. Should be a good enough matchup. 12 midi. Board. Let's go to Shump. And like YBC is one of the best players. Realistically one of the best my team players in the world. So we're one of the best like 5v5 2k players in the world. So this should be a very tough matchup. Okay they're not fast enough to keep up with them. Wow the game plays way slower on the PS4. This is the first time playing the PS4 in a while. Everyone just feels slower on both of our teams. Like the game just feels way slower. Okay very very tough shot. Okay, I think by that I've got a bit of a delay in the jump shot, which is not good. We're on him, I think. No, we're not. Okay. Okay, team, I can do that. So, yeah, there's definitely a big gap. Corner three. Green light, you on Shumpert. Even though there's a big delay in the shot meter. Like the... The game doesn't feel laggy, it's just the shot meter is a bit delayed. So I'm not going to say it makes too much of a difference. Because the shot meter this year doesn't make that big a difference as is. Tough layup. He's yet to make a tough layup with Shump. Or with T-Mac. We've got Shumpert. Straight to the basket. And Iman Shumpert makes an 8-7 game. Shumpert outscoring T-Mac so far through... Well, to be fair, it is only 3 minutes. That's what the Hall of Fame limitless range does, though. He's going to hit that shot, yeah. It's a big, a badge is a big, big difference maker. Wait for him to make a mistake, and we burned him. Straight to the basket, and I'm on Shumper with the finish. Like, to be fair, I don't think there's, a, there's any question. Like last year, I remember I destroyed someone's first diamond T-Mac, the one that wasn't as good with Reggie Lewis. But now there is actually no question. This T-Mac is way, way better than Shump. I don't think I'm, I'm not trying to make that argument. And if anyone thinks I am, I'm. 100% not because T-Mac is the best card in the game right now. I just want to see how big a difference it makes considering the fact that you can buy 400 or you can buy 800 Amon Shumperts for one T-Mac. Beat him baseline, straight to the basket and Amon Shumpert jabs it on him. Tie game. Stop celebrating! That's where he's getting all of his scores when we're celebrating. So he's got that uh, Hall of Fame limitless. Okay, uh, good switch on to him by Covington. Gotta cover him from maybe there. Like, we can't do much for that shot, so I gotta give it up, I guess. There's not much we can do to defend that. Straight to the basket. Easy layup. I want him on Shumper. Let's go. We're actually up, probably. Gonna, we're probably gonna be up at the end of the first quarter. You gonna give him a rest now till the end of the first quarter? Pass out of that. Goes my wide open for two. 
I think Kuzma nails that. Let's go. If you're really, like, there's no point in just going one-on-one -on -one because you can't really see how a player plays in a situation. That's a good shot by T-Mac to tie it up. Okay, wait till the end of the quarter. So we are at least tied at the end of the first. That's a big deal. But his team mac has two more points because we did score two with Kuzma. I'm just going to wait for him to push up. And whenever he does, I'm going to burn him. Good job, Shumpert. Let's go. Let's tie it up. Okay. Like, I know he hit that free throw, but there's definitely some major lag in the shot meter. But uh, there's no lag in the actual jump shot itself. So it's not the worst thing to happen. Just not good. But he does have Mike James well. Oh, good shot by um, Joe Ingles. One point game. It's not what I want. They, oh, Joe Ingles. No, Joe Ingles. Has now scored four points or five points. We're there. No laps. Am I getting beaten in a battle of silver players and Joe Ingles is the god? Okay, Joe Ingles can miss. That's a relief. Troy Daniels, 95 shot three, even though it was a mid. Still hits it. Okay, we got to give him a bit of space because we can't got to respect the drive. We can't do anything about that. We cannot do anything about that. There's times where a card is just too good and that was one of them. Catch the ball! You're a basketball player. You're supposed to be able to catch the ball, Dragon Bender. Okay, animations working wonders there. If he can make this layup. No, he can't. He gets... Okay, I thought he missed two of them. To be fair, the animations got me in there. No actual skill. Assume he's going to wait till the end of the quarter. Might just press hard. Go for steal. Oh, we could have got that. Would have been nice to tie it up by halftime. Oh, why do we double off him? T-Mac does not miss. I think that's the big difference between these two cards. Is that T-Mac never misses. And Shump is not... the He's not a bad shooter by any means. But there are definitely way better shooters. And he's just... I think this is where he's going to start to take over. Second half, he's killing. He's going to kill me. Shump straight to the basket. And Shump makes a tough layup. Shump's great. Shumpert is unbelievable. It's just... T-Max is another, another level good. Yeah, it wasn't the best idea. Oh, I dunked by him on Shumpert. All right, Shumpert's gotten hot now. Okay, easy lap. Gotta take that. Shumpert has got seven boards. That's, impre that's more impressive than a scoring total so far. Oh, that's open. That is open, and I'm on Shumpert gives us the lead. Let's go. And T Mac just ended the career of Dragon Bender. But he's celebrating. Which means I can get the blow by, can I? That's a terrible shot. Okay, which leaves T Mac on Covington. That's fine. Nope, T Mac jams it on me again. Not much you can do in that situation. But can Shumper jam it right back on them? Make it a one point game. I'm now going to just worry more so than anything I'm getting Covington back. His team back is just unstoppable. I don't think that either of our guys can be stopped going to the basket. And that's an and one for a Mont Shumper with a chance to tie it up. This is crazy. This is crazy how back and forth this is. Like this is 90% chance missed. Come on. That's a perfectly good shot to give up. A semi-contested, half-moving mid-range shot. And Mont Shumper goes head first at the basket. That's going in every time. Fake. Okay. That was meant to be a double-tap square fake. Steal. Get there. But defense bender, better finish. There's times where the finish is just better than any defense you can play. We're right by him to the basket. And Mont Shumper makes a layup. He's just killing it. He is killing it right now. He's actually outscored T-Mac. And they're shooting, well, they're, they basically scored the same and shooting the basically the same percentage. So, uh, yeah, that sums up how similar these two cards are. But I uh, should have been better prepared than that for that play. 
Why do they always set screens going towards the sideline? It's the most dumb position you can set a screen to pick and roll. Why is that the default in 2K18? Not a big deal for this game, and I'm not blaming that, uh, that play on that, but like, why is that the default this year? Like, who wants to set a screen? Like, if honestly, like this is a bit of a 2K rant, but nothing to do with this game. If you're here, why would anyone set a screen as default going towards the sideline? Pick them up, easy left, one point game. We gotta, we gotta try and make him make shots with his players that aren't scoring. Jumper catches it for three. That's slightly open. And a jumper hits the happening and has a shot. Tie game. Let's go. And D-Mac is swatted. Oh my god, that was first time in his game he's been swatted. Stamina not working to his advantage. We're there really early. Jump. Oh no, not jump. Kuzma and he gets an M1. Of course, we get them blocked for the first time. They get an offensive board and an M1 out of it. And it's game. Oh, that's the game. Come on. Great, great game, though. Great, great game. Right to the basket, jump. Easy finish. Why aren't we pushing up? Good steal. No, we got it. Timeout, 5.1 seconds to go. Oh, from way too deep. That was the worst shot I could have taken. And fair play to him. Bad shot to end the game. But very, very close in the end. So anyway, T-Mac had 54, 22 of 33. Shump was 20 of 35 and at 47. But um, obviously, I'm not trying to say with this video, the fact that it was close, that Shumpert is better than Tracy McGrady. It's just kind of to prove a point that like you can pick up Shumpert a lot of the time you can snipe him for 500 MT. Most of the time he's about 1,000 to 2,000 MT. But realistically you can pick up 400 amount of Shumperts for one Tracy McGrady. And it's just to show that, honestly, like YBC is one of the best players you're ever gonna play against. Honest, being dead serious, he's one of the best players in my team, one of the best players in the world. And the fact is that I put it up to him with a Shumpert and also playing on a international connection, which didn't affect me too much, I'm good being 100% honest that it's honestly possible to run with these budget cards against these great cards. Obviously, there will be an advantage to the great cards. There's going to be an advantage to a team act. There's going to be an advantage to a Vince Carter, to all those high-rated players. The thing is that that advantage isn't as big as a lot of people think. While it is definitely an advantage, if you're good at the game you and you're playing someone who's bad at the game, you will win with a weaker squad if you're way, way better than them at the game. But anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please check out YBC channel. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.